Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 6. In today's video, I will be showing you a flip through of Abeka's Arithmetic One work text. Now, if you're interested in secular homeschooling curricula like this one, raising a child with ADHD and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. Now, this is gonna be a swift video because this is a flip through, not so much of a review. I do end of the year review, so sometimes you will see a curricula reviewed twice on my channel or featured twice on my channel. The way I like to approach these reviews is if I am sponsored by a company, I will tell you at the outset, I am not sponsored by Abeka. They certainly don't know about me. Abeka, if you don't know, is a Christian company. It has been around forever. A lot of traditional homeschoolers use Abeka exclusively. I actually don't use it for anything except for their arithmetic texts, and this is only the second Abeka product that I have used. The first one was the um, arithmetic text for kindergarten, and I really liked it. I thought my daughter really enjoyed it. She is a hybrid kindergartner first grader this year, and so we'll be going through it. Regardless of whether I am sponsored by a company or affiliated with a company or not, I will always give you my honest impression. I ordered this either from christianbook.com or Rainbow Resources. I'm not quite positive, but I ordered it in the unbound fashion. You have the option of doing that. The reason I did that is because this year, for some subjects especially, I want to split up their curriculum into weekly full Folders, and I thought this would make it that much easier. I honestly wish all companies would offer you this option, but I'll take it when I can find it. So as you can see, the table of contents goes through and it's different themes per section. So you have the zoo theme, the farm theme, the ocean theme, and the spring theme. The book is about 340 pages long or so, so quite significant. If you were going to do it throughout the year in a 180 day school year, you'd probably have to do more than two pages a day to get through it all. But that being said, some of the pages are like this, where you have a poem. So you can see right here, it says at the end, God made all the animals that lived in the zoo. Again, if you are a secular homeschooler and you don't wanna do things like that, um, you can just skip it. In the kindergarten version, I found it very easy to eliminate any kind of religious mentions. And honestly, there were very, very few of them. I would say less than 10 total in the entire book. So I'm hoping for something like that in this version too. As you can see at the very beginning, it starts quite simply by just like counting activities and tabling activities. One of the things I liked best about the Abeka format for the early grades in math is that they have a mix of activities per page. So instead of having one entire page with copy work of all the numbers one to 10, for example, here you have one and two, and then you have a couple of counting activities. Again, so you can see the pages move kind of swiftly, so it is easy to do several pages a day. You're still in counting here at page seven, and I'm gonna flip through a little bit faster now so you can see how it looks. It's very colorful. You're starting to get some addition here at page 12. You're still having some counting practice. By the time you get to page 20, you're having a little bit of practice with place value with tens and ones. So you're talking about teens here. By the time you get to around page 28, 30, you're talking about ordinals. This is something they addressed in the kindergarten book as well, if you're interested. I love how colorful it stays. I love how it acts like a spiral practice throughout. So we are also using Math Mammoth, which is a mastery program. And I find that combining a mastery program, especially at the early years with a spiral program, is really beneficial to my kids. My youngest will be using this and she's very into worksheets. She loves going, getting through her work. She's very swift. So that combination works in that way as well. So here you have some calendar practice at page 38. By the time you get to page 50, you're talking about greatest number, doing some missing number sequencing, and you're talking about dimes here. There's counting by tens as well. By the time you're at 64, again, you're doing greatest and least. You're doing some simple word problems. The zoo had two polar bears and three grizzly pears. How many do they have all together? There's also some how many stakes does Larry have left? So you're talking about addition and subtraction. The right number of cents. I like that when they do coins, they have the actual pictures of coins in both the front side and the reverse side. You can tell that the activities vary. So even when they're practicing coins, you have different types of practice for the coins. Sometimes you're doing matching, sometimes you're doing addition and subtraction with them, sometimes you're just circling of the correct amount. 
at page 94 again, there are some areas here, like you can see number two, write the answer to the combinations your teacher says. I believe you need the teacher guide to know what combination to say. What I would do in these sections is either eliminate it completely or make up my own combination, like maybe a word problem or just like a simple arithmetic problem, and she would do it that way. There is some measuring here you can see at 95 with inches. By the time you get to 118, you are really seeing um, more concepts. So domino addition, um, talking about conversion between hours and minutes, years and months, etc. You have some time practice coming in and even fractions. I have heard that Abeka arithmetic does take you further than a lot of the math theory programs. So for example, this type of arithmetic skill will be addressed in my mastery program like Math Mammoth, but perhaps not at the um, level of detail that Abeka addresses it. Abeka, I find, is much more of a straight arithmetic program. And because of that, it tends to get into bigger numbers and higher digit addition subtraction. However, I really value programs like Singapore Math and Math Mammoth because I find that it teaches mental math and the theory behind why we're adding, why we're subtracting, how we're doing the fractions so much more. As you can tell, this program provides practice problems, but it does not provide any teaching text whatsoever. So if you are interested in teaching text to go along with this, you should probably get the teacher's guide as well. That's not what I'm using this book for. Our teaching comes mainly from Math Mammoth, and this is mainly for practice. So I'm just gonna keep flipping through here to show you. My daughter has loved how colorful this is. You even have like a little drawing page here to make it interesting. There's more measuring. You have three digits to add now, greatest to least, and who's in between. There's a counting chart here, and you can see how big the numbers have gotten. So you have a four digit number here. You have a lot of these coloring activities where you can color by number after doing the math problem. It really is a beautifully laid out spiral program, but I just wanna caution you, there is no teaching in here. It is very, very practice-based. That being said, the pages themselves are not very overwhelming in terms of numbers of problems. I like how it varies the activities and also the intensity of each page from day to day. You can see here by the end, they actually do Roman numerals as well in first grade, which and some programs include and some do not. Here you have um, some fast pages here. So these are like timed pages where you can track how fast they can do some of their addition and subtraction drills. And then at the very end of all of these books, I think it's very cute. They have a little growth chart where they can mark themselves how tall they have become throughout the different seasons of the school year. It's a nice little page to save and it's on the very end of the book. So, so that was Abeka's Arithmetic One work text. If you have any questions about this or how I combine it with Math Mammoth, and mathematical reasoning from Critical Thinking Company, just leave me a question in the comment box down below. If you've used other Abeka resources as a secular homeschooler and have enjoyed them, I'd love to know about that as well. If you wanna see other Abeka curricula reviewed here, let me know. I'm happy to reach out to the company and see if they would send me anything for review. I'm not sure if they would because of my secular nature, but it never hurts to try. So as always, you guys, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day. 